Although coral may look like a colorful marine plant, it is actually an animal. Corals, like all animals, can reproduce sexually to a process known as spawning. This exceptional and breathtaking marine event takes place twice a year, around the full moons in March and September. Broadcast spawners such as Aquapora coral simultaneously release eggs and sperm into the water column. Hundreds of different coral species took part in this event over the course of several nights. A team of researchers from University Malaysia Terengganu under the direction of Associate Professor Dr. Tan Chun Hong have previously observed a comparable event on Pulau Bidung. This year, they had the opportunity to observe and document the development of these tiny gems from spawn to settlement. Here, we have colonies of Acropora gemifera. Male and female gametes are released by every single polyp and are frequently glued together into bundles. Because these gamete bundles are buoyant, they float to the surface before being transferred to another container. This is where they will be separated and fertilized with gametes from other colonies. After an hour, the fertilized egg shows signs of early cleavage, which signals the start of the embryonic development. The cells underwent mitosis in a short period of time, doubling in number and eventually giving rise to a gastrula. They continue to develop into planulae, which are coral's larval stage. The cylindrical, free-swimming larva form, known as the coral planula, is covered in numerous cilia that help it move. The swimming ability allows planktonic planula larvae to move down the water column to settle. Coral larvae, in contrast to other animals, use a variety of complex cues, including light, sound, surface texture, and chemical cues. Here, we set up tiles and bits of coralline algae which send chemical cues to the coral planulae to settle. A coral planula is made up of oral and aboral segments. When coral larvae attach, they secrete a calcareous exoskeleton and attach their aboral to the substrate. Later, the larva changes from a mortar larva to a distinctive sedentary polyp with a mouth, tentacles, and mesenteries that resemble a flower. This young coral will now continue to develop into an amazing coral reef. The 
annual corresponding event is a breathtaking natural phenomenon that showcases the diversity and complexity of coral reef. However, impacts from pollution, overexploitation on marine resources, and climate change have caused extensive damages to coral reef. It is time for everyone to come together and contribute to the research, awareness, and restoration activities for the sustainability of this invaluable ecosystem.